Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yentan. Nagaland Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pangyupam has said that the areas bordering other states are at a very vulnerable stage. Speaking to department officials in a review meeting on COVID-19 yesterday, the minister asked the officials to give more focus on the border areas. Pangyu said that quarantine measures should be implemented more strictly in these areas. The minister further directed that the construction work of the Medical College Kohima should resume from today. He also discussed about strengthening of doctors at the district level for temporary adjustments and allocations of manpower. Principal Director of Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Vizole Sokre, yesterday said it is necessary to wait for two more weeks before resuming daily activities. According to an official bulletin, Dr. Sokre has made an appeal to the state government in this regard. Dr. Sokre said if the reports for COVID-19 cases are still negative after two weeks, then only it will be advisable to resume offices. He, however, said that point of entry from other states should continue to be restricted. The Health and Family Welfare Department has also appealed to the state government to relax the timing for marketing. The department said that limiting time for shopping causes rush and social distancing could not be observed, thereby rendering all ongoing efforts useless. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that several state governments, district administrations and experts have asked for extension of the phase of lockdown to contain the spread of the virus. Modi noted that the country should simultaneously try to bring about a change in its work culture and working style according to the changing circumstances. Interacting with leaders of political parties in parliament through video conferencing yesterday, Modi said the country is facing serious economic challenges as a result of COVID-19 and the government is committed to overcome it. Modi said the present situation is an epoch-changing event in mankind's history and India must evolve to counter its impact. He praised the efforts of state governments working together with the centre in this fight against the pandemic. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will interact with chief ministers of all states on Saturday on a COVID-19 situation. The total number of COVID-19 cases in the country rose to 5,274, registering an increase of 485 cases in the last 24 hours. So far, 411 people have recovered and discharged from hospitals, while 149 have lost their lives in the country due to COVID-19. Dimapur Deputy Commissioner Anup Kinchi has informed that all agencies engaged in farming operations and other agriculture-related activities under Dimapur district are exempted from the lockdown. The DC further said, therefore said, that movement of farmers and other persons involved in agricultural activities should not be restricted in the colonies and villages. Meanwhile, the DC accompanied by other officials visited all the entry points at colonies along the Nagaland border. The entry points visited were Tutu Colony, LRC, Nutun Baste, Riverbelt, Dangan Baste, Lingrijan, Aukong and Delai Gate. Interacting with the village council members, the DC asked them for ensuring proper sealing of all the entry points as a preventive measure to fight COVID-19. Deputy Commissioner Twensang Kumar Ramnikand has notified Saochang College and Government Polytechnic set them as quarantine centres for Twensang headquarters in connection with the COVID-19 pandemic. The two institutions are now installed with basic minimum facilities to serve as quarantine centres and each has a capacity of 30 beds. Centre has completed transfer of first instalment of 500 rupees to around 20 crore women, Chan Tan account holders, as part of relief package announced by it last month in the wake of COVID-19 outbreak. Official sources said the money has reached each and every account and a beneficiary can withdraw as per their needs, keeping social distancing norm in the mind. With that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.